Good morning guys! Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Taihutu. For the newcomers, yes, I am the guy that three years ago went all into Bitcoin by selling his house, company, cars, everything else he owned, took his family into a camper van and started traveling the world after going all into Bitcoin. Now, three years later, we are still all in Bitcoin, supporting this beautiful industry 24-7. Now coming to you from Chalaklam in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Today will be a short video. I'm going to talk to you about the Bitcoin price, which movement I think we will see and why I added some Bitcoins to my portfolio again. Doing this by showing you an amazing chart where you can see what is happening at the moment and how many days we have been going sideways. And in this video, I'm going to ask you a very important question because I really, guys, I really need your help. So start watching this video now, all till the end, answer my questions in the comment so I know exactly what to do with this problem I have at the moment. Enjoy watching this video. morning on this amazing Sunday here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. A little bit cloudy, but that makes it a little bit cool. That makes it perfect for me to walk the beach and talk to you about life, crypto and blockchain. Let's take a jump into my office. Whoa. Yes, welcome to my office here in Chalak Lam Beach, guys. I'm going to walk a little part on the beach and then I'm going to go to the left and cross this small wooden bridge into this part where some houses are hidden behind the beach. Yes, some of you might have already seen this part if you have been watching our videos for some longer but for the new ones this is also a very nice part to show you guys um, because it's not just beach it's also a little bit jungle a little bit river and a little bit village there is not that many news today guys so I will talk a little bit about the Bitcoin price and I will try to do a new concept in the next couple of weeks on every Sunday because every Sunday it's the same there is not that much news so I want to change the concept on Sunday at the end of the video I will ask your opinion maybe you can help me with deciding how to solve this boring Sunday news day keep watching the video till the end I will ask you there and then hopefully together we can decide on the new concept for every Sunday so let's talk the Bitcoin price first guys Bitcoin price, nobody knows what is going to happen. Everybody is thinking the same, will we go up or will we go down? There are so many bulls and bears around that all have a different opinion that it's difficult to judge what is going to happen. In these situations, mostly it is best to just hodl your Bitcoins and don't add to your Bitcoins at the moment because you're just too uncertain. I am a little bit more of a gambler, so to be honest, I bought 0.5 Bitcoin yesterday on Kraken. Why? I saw Bitcoin again around 9,080. So I thought, okay, it's around $9,080. I am expecting a huge bullish pump. I am not seeing the dump to the 8K or 7K um, region, guys. I am seeing a pump up back again to 10,500 and maybe even break that one to try to reach 11,600. It's not only TA that makes me think this, but it's just my gut feeling as well. I am an emotional person that always does things in life if it feels right. And yesterday I was looking, looking at these charts and I was discussing with some other TAs and I was like, maybe we'll see this 2K candle. That's why I made a video yesterday. That's a possibility we can see a 2K candle because this is really strange guys. Again, in this same street, it happened to me the last time I recorded the video. The iPhone just stops recording in the middle of my recording. So I lost all the video from the bridge till here. So I need to do it again. So I'll walk back through this beautiful street, guys, and talk to you again about the news. So, um, so this is the second time. I need to repeat all the things I already said. Um, I lost you guys just before crossing the bridge and I was talking about that. I just added 0.5 Bitcoin to my stack. So I added these Bitcoins to my stack because I believe that we could see a 1K to 2K candle in the upcoming days. Um, yes, we can also fall down all the way back to 7Ks, guys. So it's a little bit of a gamble. And as you know, guys, I am a guy that likes a gamble because else, why would I have sold my house and everything else and go all into Bitcoin? So it's not a safe bet. It's just something that my 
TA is telling me, but also that my gut feeling is telling me. And you know, I am not betting everything we have. I'm just betting 0.5 Bitcoin and I'm buying Bitcoin. I'm not longing on shorting it. So that means that if Bitcoin is not going up to what level I expected, I just dollar cost average in with my Bitcoins. I just bought some cheap Bitcoins at 9,000 US dollar. If we take a look at this chart, this chart is showing us all the highs. You can see it on the red uh, circles. You can see all these highs. Every time after these highs, we reach this high, we saw a huge drop. This time, one thing is different. This time, the futures funding rate of BTC is negative to neutral, which means that the longs are not over leveraged, which means there is still room to rally upside. And like you saw in yesterday's video, I explained to you guys that $930 million worth of Bitcoin futures expired a few days ago and they need to recontract or re-enter the market. My gut feeling is that they will be going into the market and it will push the price up with 1 to 2K. Again guys, be aware, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy living life completely all in into Bitcoin and sometimes taking a little bit of bigger bet than I normally do. This time is this time that I'm taking a little bit of a bigger bet. This is why I bought 0.5 Bitcoins because I think we can make a little jump to, of 1 to 2K in the next couple of days. At the same time, I'm not worrying at all to drop back to 7K because then I still have the 0.5 BTC and the long term when Bitcoin goes to 100,000 US dollar, it doesn't matter that I bought at 9K or at 8K. So for me, it's also about excitement, about seeing if I could time this time right, and if we can see Bitcoin doing this pump now the couple, next couple of days, and if not, no worries at all. On this chart, you can see guys, that every time it took like 60 bars and then pew, we fell down. Now we are already are on 170 bars. This is like triple as long as we normally were. This time is different because this time we already see a sideways movement of 170. At the same time, we can see this negative funding rate in futures. I think this combo will make Bitcoin explode to the upside and not to the downside. Also guys, if you zoom out into the charts, and you can, then you can still see that we are in a short-term uptrend. You can see the line is a short-term uptrend. We didn't make a lower low yet. We, since March, we only have been creating higher lows every time higher again and this will keep and this will stay like this till we close below 8600 because 8600 was the latest higher low that we created we haven't broken down from that part we are still higher than 8600 which makes this still a short-term uptrend Yes, if you zoom a little bit more out, you see the bigger picture. Yes, we are still in a huge downtrend from 2018 on until now, but that's the difference between zooming out and zooming in. So in the long, long, long term, it's a downtrend. We need to break 10,500 to even start this new uptrend. But in the short term, since March, you can see we have a uptrend. You can see that we created higher lows every time again on the chart. The question now is, what is the next higher low going to be? And if it is going to be a higher low, it can also be a lower low, guys. My bet is another higher low. That's why I think we are going to see a 1K to 2K candle soon in Bitcoin. Crossing this river on the wooden bridge, guys. I just wanted to make this Sunday short video, guys, because I told you so much news this week. Sometimes I doubt if you still like to watch these videos because you know do you want to see me talking every day again and again so this is exactly the moment i want to talk to you guys about these sundays these sundays are mostly the end or the beginning of a new week however you look, look at it if i look back on this week till last sunday i created a lot of content and a lot of news for you guys I've showed you that in Austria now 2,500 stores started to accept Bitcoins. I've showed you that the boomers are doubling their investments. I showed you that the socials platform really came to life by doing the first and finishing the first poll for the Barcelona fan token. And now we decided collectively which painting is going to be hang up in this beautiful dressing room of the Barcelona players. I showed you this Israeli startup that now created the function to undo transactions in Bitcoin. 
on a really cool way. I'm going to make another video about this, by the way, soon, because I'm really interested how this project is going to change this industry. I showed you guys how we were buying food in Thailand, how to buy food. I showed you a beautiful temple. I showed you how ghost coin from John McAfee now can be used in Disneyland. John still didn't respond to my request on sending me ghost coins. So John, send me ghost coins. We want to go to Hong Kong. We want to go to Disneyland after this lockdown here in Thailand. <laughs> I showed you this amazing monthly candle closed moment. I recorded it for you live so you could see that we didn't close above this multi-year trend line, downward trend line. And it was a very important moment that we didn't cross above this trend line. That is how I started on Monday. And I even showed you the new follow-up for TikTok because that project is a decentralized one called Can Can. So we, I talked about a lot of stuff this week and every week again I experienced that on Sunday and Saturday there is not that many news released. So the blockchain space is creating a weekend I think or something. <laughs> Bitcoin is working 24-7, but if it comes to the news articles, we will have a small weekend. And I don't want to create content every Sunday that is not like interesting for you guys. So I have a proposal. What do you think if I change the concept on every Sunday? Every Sunday I don't create videos, but I go live. Every Sunday I do a Ask Me Anything, an AMA. Every Sunday at a certain time I will go live for half an hour or an hour and just have a chat with you guys and just see what you want to learn from me or what I can learn from you. So that we create a Sunday morning, afternoon or evening meeting where we just hang out and talk crypto, life and many other things. Would you guys be interested to joining me in these Ask Me Anything sessions on every Sunday? Let's call it the Sunday Didi chat, whatever, something like this, or the Sunday Bitcoin family chat. Yeah, that one is that one is better because we are one Bitcoin family. The Sunday Bitcoin family chat. If you would like me to do these Ask Me Anything Sunday Bitcoin family chats every Sunday, then let me know which time you would prefer. I can see that, bit, that the biggest part of our followers is from Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Spain, the United States and United Kingdom. So these time zones would be the best. But would you prefer to do this in the morning, in the afternoon or in the evening? Let me know. One, would you like me to change the concept on every Sunday and do a live YouTube show? Two, which time would you prefer to join these live to YouTube shows? As you can see, the sun started to shine again. I'm sweaty again. It's bloody hot here in Thailand. And the last thing I want to tell to you guys is that we still didn't figure out where to go as a family. I thought I found really cheap uh, tickets into Austria. They are already gone. I'm still searching for new tickets. Yes, I think we will go to Europe for two, three months before we return back into Asia. Or if this whole COVID situation is like gone maybe we will even continue the world tour we started because please remember we were starting a five-year world tour with this bitcoin van all around the world and we needed to stop because of covid so we are doubting really hard as a family if we will continue the tour or if we will sit out go a few months to europe uh, meet a lot of people over there meet a lot of projects over there and then go back to asia again or to south america or wherever else in the world where we can live a free life without wearing all these mouthpieces and all that rules that we need to obey to because we just don't want to live that kind of life. I will keep you updated on where we will go and if I go there of course if you live in these countries I would love to meet you for a cup of coffee and just talk some random crypto blockchain or life. I'm gonna leave it to this today guys. I just want to remind you again to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of this beautiful Sunday because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you a beautiful Sunday and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.